In earlier videos in this series, we looked at how to explore the passage being studied and how to capture and organize research. In the remaining videos, we're going to look at creating and using a sermon document, a manuscript to use when preaching or teaching a class. To create a sermon document, open the Docs menu, click New, and select Sermon. There are two main sections, the Sermon Info section, for entering details about the manuscript, and the Body section, where the actual manuscript text is entered. Name your sermon document by typing in the top field. Name it Preaching, Teaching on John 7, 37-39. As shown in the first video, it is good to provide key topic and passage information. Enter Jesus teaches about living water into the key topics field and select from the event. And John 7, 37 to 39 in the key passages field. You can also specify who wrote the sermon manuscript, specify the sort of group it was delivered to and other identifying information including when and where it was used. This is helpful if you plan to share your sermon with others using other Faith Life tools and services. Once you've entered all the required information, close this section by clicking Done with Sermon Info. Now start populating the manuscript itself with some outline headings, starting at Heading 1. Note that you can choose the type of text from the drop-down menu. Looking at the text, call the first section, Jesus Appeals to the Thirsty. This automatically creates a slide, and we'll look at slides in more detail in a later video. Also, note that the style in the next text block is changed to normal, ready for text to be entered. But to add in some more headings first, reselect Heading 1 and type, Jesus Encourages Belief, and Jesus promises the Spirit. Then add two subheadings to the last section. A future reality and Jesus will be glorified. At this point we'll just add in some comments based on what we have found out so far. It's worth noting in the section on Jesus appeals to the thirsty that the first verb in John 7, 37-39 identified by the visual filter is stood, followed by cried, indicating that Jesus is seeking everyone's attention. Consulting our notes, we can add in a few comments. We'll note in the second section that the word translated believes is translated elsewhere in the New Testament in different ways. We can also note its sense in John 7:38. Under the second subheading in the last section, enter Jesus needed to be glorified before the Spirit could be sent. We can create lists to cause blocks of text to stand out by selecting them and clicking the list icon. We can also apply a range of formatting options to text, such as bolding text by selecting it and then applying the format either from the top level menu or the pop-up menu or we can apply styles to the text by selecting it and clicking the speaker button. Make it large and set the background colour to green, a powerful way of emphasising particular blocks of text. Later videos will look at more sermon editor features and capabilities, but we've seen how it can be used to create manuscripts for sermons or Bible studies, utilising information drawn out during the study process. In the next video, We'll discover some powerful and flexible ways for creating and manipulating slides that can enhance the presentation of your sermon or Bible study lesson.